Hello everyone and welcome back to the hrflow.ai platform. Today we're going to learn how to set up an API source. The API source allows you to connect hrflow.ai with an external API of your choice. It only takes a few minutes to set up. To do so, please follow the next steps. On the hrflow.ai platform, go to the sources section and click on Create Source. You will be then redirected to the Sources Marketplace. To create a front-end API source, choose JavaScript and their website category. And to create a back-end API source, go to the Server category and you will find different clients to choose from. Let's choose HTTP API for example. When the pop-up window appears, Click on Create Source. Now type in a recognizable source name that you can easily remember. If you wish to send a standard confirmation email to the candidates after they drop their resume, check the Apply Notification switch. You can also make your source private if you don't want other teammates to have access to it. Finally, you can add other teammates as source managers so they can manage the source with you. Once you finish, click on Create Source to confirm. Congratulations, your API source has been created successfully. In the Overview tab, you will find your source key, which identifies your source if you want to use the hrflow.ai API. You can also activate or deactivate sync parsing for your source. To do so, just send a short message to the team in the chat and they will activate it quickly. To post a profile to our source, we can use different API endpoints. Let's head to the API documentation to learn more about them. Go to developers.hrflow.ai Under API reference, click on Profile Endpoints. The first endpoint route ends with slash profile slash parsing slash file. This endpoint allows you to post a resume file to your source. Our parsing API can handle various types of files, PDF, documents, images, and so much more. A typical request using this endpoint requires X API key and X user email as headers. X API key should contain your API keys while X user email should contain the email of the platform user. The platform should also contain the source key and the file as foreign data parameters. The sync parsing parameter allows you to activate and deactivate synchronous parsing. To enable sync parsing, you just need to set its value to one. Other useful parameters are the content type, which refers to the type of the document you are uploading, the reference, which is a unique value for your profile within the source. And the tags, which aim to mark your profile. Check the documentation for a full review of all parameters. Let's test synchronous profile parsing using Postman to send the requests and view the results. First, download the Postman collection for the profile parsing API using the link in the description. Open the collection in Postman, then choose the Post Profile Parsing File endpoint. Specify the API keys and user email in the Hazards section. You can find your API keys in the Settings section under API. You'll have three levels of permissions to choose from. A Write key to send data, a Read key to retrieve data, and a Read and Write key to do both. Note that the write key can be safely used on the front end, but the read key should only be used on the server side to avoid your data being stolen. Let's copy the read and write API key and use it in our request. Let's specify the user email as well, which is the email you use to log into your HRflow platform. Next, go to the body section and make sure the sync parsing parameter value is one, since we will be testing sync parsing. Copy the source key of your API source 
and upload the resume you want to parse. Then send the request. As you could see, our resume has been parsed successfully and we got the parsing results right away. Note that the parsing results contain a parsing and a profile. Note that the parsing results contain a parsing object and a profile object. These two objects serve different purposes. The profile object is a standard the profile object is a standard representation of the candidate while the parsing object details all detected entities on a document. For example, you can find multiple names and emails on the parsing object, but the profile object contains only one name and one email. You can learn more about these two objects on our API documentation and their HR JSON. The second endpoint that you can use to post a profile ends with slash profile slash indexing. This is a different endpoint that allows you to send an already structured profile JSON into the API source. This endpoint is only for storing and not structuring data. In contrast with the first endpoint that takes a raw file and turns it into a readable JSON. This endpoint uses the same headers as the first one x API key and x user email. As for the body parameters, you need to specify the source key and the valid profile JSON. Now let's test this endpoint using Postman. First, we choose the post profile indexing JSON endpoint from the Postman collection. Then we need to send an object with the exact same format as the hrflow.ai profile JSON. We can use the profile JSON from the previous example to test this endpoint. As always, we should first specify the API keys and user email. We should also specify the source key. Then we copy the information from the previous profile JSON and use it in our request to see how it works. As you can see, we have successfully created a new profile by directly sending a JSON through the endpoint. In our third test, let's use asynchronous profile parsing. This is more suitable for batch parsing a large volume of data and also has a higher API rate limit. To do that, we can use the same request as the sync parsing and just change the sync parsing parameter from 1 to 0. Note that if sync parsing is not activated for your source, the parsing is asynchronous by default, regardless of the sync parsing parameter. As you can see, the request was sent successfully to the parsing queue. This means that your resume is not parsed immediately, you have to wait a few seconds or few minutes at the most before you can check the results. We can also set up a webhook to get notified once the resume is parsed and indexed. To do so, go to the Marketplace section, under the Destinations tab, choose Webhook, and then click Install. There are two events that we can use, Profile Parsing Success, to get notified once the parsing is done, and Profile Indexing Success, to get notified once the profile is indexed. We recommend using the Profile Indexing Success event, since it occurs last after parsing, and it works for both structured and non-structured profiles. Let's now test our webhook. Since we don't have a server where we can send the notifications, we will use an online webhook endpoint, like webhook site for example. Let's copy the unique URL generated by the website, and then click on check to test if the webhook is working. We can see that the team name and event type are correct, so let's save the webhook settings. Now let's drop a resume to see if we will be notified once the profile is indexed. First, let's send a sync parsing request to parse the resume. Once the profile is parsed, we can check the profile key and source key. Then we go to the webhook site and see if we receive a notification with these elements. As you can see, 
we have received a profile indexing success notification with the same profile key and source key. This concludes our tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. As always, all relevant resources are in the video description. You can also leave your questions in the comment section and we'll get back to you. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get the latest hrflow.ai tutorials. See you in the next video.